Morning friends. Today I thought I'd take you for a ride on my Quattromoto. My Quattromoto is a four-wheel ATV and mine is a Honda Foreman 450. I'll take you down to the shore of Lake Chapala. We'll see how many birds we can find. I've mounted my camera mount on the headlight of the ATV. So we'll see how that works. Let's go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. The sound of the engine in the Quattromoto made the video uh, audio with this just totally unusable, so we'll listen to some music and I'll throw a few comments in here and there. This street is Linda Vista. And down here at the end is a hotel, and some people do uh, rent it for long-term stays. We're going to go through the parking lot, and there's access to the lake down here at the other end of the parking lot. I'll do a 360 here for you so that you can see what it looks like if you're staying at that hotel. Nice outdoor area there. The grass has greened up a little bit with just a couple of evenings of rain here. I'm going over some big rocks here, it slowed me down. Most of the shoreline of Lake Chapala is rocks. Lots of rocks. Which explains why all of the streets in Ahihik are made out of cobblestones. Well, they call them cobblestones, but my friend from Switzerland, he says, quit calling them cobblestones. They're just damn rocks. Quite a few horses just roam freely around here. We're not always sure where home is for them. That's a commercial fishing boat out there. They use gill nets. And they catch uh, freshwater um, tilapia, pretty small ones, and most of it goes to, um, I think it goes to an animal food processor for protein. Uh, I don't know how much they get, but many years ago I heard that it was like uh, five pesos per kilo, which isn't very much. Hopefully it's more than that now. I do have another camera with me, and so as you're hearing the sound of the engine, um, you'll know I'm using my other camera. There's another curious thing about that. The color registration on the two cameras is not the same, so it is what it is. Years ago, there was an airboat that went up and down the lakeshore here, and it used to really annoy me that the, they scared all of the birds, so I'm feeling kind of guilty about scaring the birds. 
That's a cormorant. They dive underneath the water and catch fish. And he's drying his wings. And, oh boy, he's really flapping them. Cormorant. And those little things swimming around there are coots. Coots are not ducks. Coots don't have webbed feet. Look it up. Google it. This is a boat ramp. You can see that uh, the lake is so low that the boat ramp didn't get all the way to the water. It has historically been lots higher than this, but 20 years ago when we first came down here, it was lower than this. That is a night heron. And one of those buggers is nesting in a tree across the street from my bedroom window and three o'clock in the morning they seem to be talking about something. Maybe that's why they call them night herons because they're awake at night. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not happy about that. I think I'm gonna buy my Mexican neighbor a slingshot. Twenty years ago, the water was way out there farther than it is now, and a boat ride from the pier in Chapala was get into the boat, which is on the back of a flatbed truck, and they drove you out to the water about a quarter of a mile or more. You didn't get out of the boat, and the boat didn't get off the truck, they just drove you along the shore on the truck. That was a boat ride. That's a boat-tailed grackle that we just saw there. That's Mount Garcia in the distance. It's, uh, the summit is 9,000 feet. Elevation of the lake is about 5,200 feet. This is a great egret. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Well, let's wait till he lands. I'm going to put this in slow motion. It's kind of neat to watch their wings flap. There it is. Cool, huh? Well, he landed, and I decided I'd drive into the water and see if I could get any closer since I was a water creature instead of a land creature, but uh, it got too deep too fast, and I... <laughs> decided that that wasn't a good idea uh, and that I probably would just stop harassing that particular bird anymore. Seems like there's a convention going on out there on that sand spit. I don't know how many birds are out there but it's a bunch. All different kinds of birds, too. I don't know. Seems like they all seem to get along. The picture doesn't stay level because when I turn the handlebars, the camera tilts.
So we're approaching that red box there in front of the boat. It's full of fish guts and fish heads from where they've cleaned some fish. And the birds are congregating around it, grabbing their share. I said before they're all sort of getting along. And considering there's food involved here, they all seem to take their turns. I don't see any real big fighting. Oh, I started my engine of my Quattromoto. That's what scared them all. Because I was going to back up here and go around and take a look at it from a different direction and see if we could see what they're actually pulling out of that red box. What is it about sitting on a boat that the birds like? Birds of Lake Chapala. There, yeah, that guy got a good piece. These tents and tarps and whatever they are. I don't know if those belong to the fishermen or some people just kind of have made that their home. The name of this road is Porta Nueva. We're going to turn here onto this dirt road, which parallels the Carretera, which is about uh, a couple of blocks to the left. And this goes back into the east, excuse me, the west side of Ahihik, past the Pantheon, the cemetery. one of the entrances to the cemetery on my left there and we're back off of dirt roads onto cobblestones well or I guess if you're from Europe just damn rocks this turns into uh, Ocampo the property on the left is huge. That wall is really thick. Um, rumor has it that property sold for $3 million a few years ago. I'm not sure if that's true. Housing development on the left, uh, gated community, La Huerta, and La Huerta means the orchard. Um, restaurant there, Tio Domingo. This would be uh, the intersection of Rio Zula. And uh, on the left down here is Danza del Sol, another big hotel where you can um, get uh, long-term rentals also, I think. And we're back at Linda Vista. And now back into my house. Hey, thanks for going with me on my ride. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.